What is up everybody? Today we are back out on the water. Um, we're gonna kind of do what we've been doing, fishing some bottom sweeper jigs. Got myself, I don't know if you can see that, some fresh fiddler crabs. So we're gonna hit some structure right away while the tide's not crazy. If uh, time permits, we might go out and explore some other spots, but stay tuned and uh, hopefully we get on the fish today. Now, recently we've been fishing a lot of bridges. Um, this time of year, man, I love fishing it because you never know what you're gonna catch. You know, the last two trips I went out, I think we had like five total species. So, you know, that to me is more fun than, you know, drift fishing in my opinion. But uh, we'll see, we're gonna see what the wind does today, see what the current does and fish accordingly. All right, man, we just got to our first spot. We're gonna try throwing one of these bad boys on there. Nice little fiddler crab with the bottom sweeper jig combo. That has been the money combo for me recently. Just fishing, you know, single crab on some structure. Got him, let's go. Oh man. First species of the day, micro tog. Well, no skunk. Definitely right species, wrong size is what we call that. Drop it back down, see if anything else is lurking over here. second species see this is what I'm talking about that's definitely not what we're trying to catch but you know what I mean definitely got the multi-species angle today yikes got him that one went away from the bridge feels different oh man look at that that is a true true Striper with a diaper. Oh my lord. Ugh. Easy buddy, easy, easy. Well, third species of the day. Nothing crazy, just a baby bass. Gonna get him back in the water. Off he goes. Now this is the beauty of this type of fishing, man, is Three drops, three different fish. You know, tog, oyster toadfish, striper. That's, you know, why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's it's like you never know what you're gonna catch, really. And this time of year, man, especially on a weekend, it, it beats the hell out of trying to fight boat traffic and, you know, Yahoo's going 100 miles per hour to their next drift and, you know, you know all that nonsense that you see on a weekend but let's get another crab out there. I'll tell you, the wind's not as bad as it was the other day, but it's still pretty brutal. If you're, uh, like, I mean, we just got blown right off of where I want to be, but I'm probably gonna spin. If I can get my nose of the boat, yep, right here, we're good. Getting a hit, got him. There we go. Another tog. I'm telling you, man, there's not a better combo than bottom sweeper jigs and crabs. I mean, the hookup ratio is unreal with these jigs. There he goes. It's one of them things when you're catching crabs, you, the only thought is, man, did I catch enough? Because you could blow through some bait doing this type of fishing. You know, especially if you're on fish. That's why you gotta, you know, make sure you always come out with more bait than what you think you need. Because you could always, you know, let the crabs go at the end of the trip, but you can't always catch them, you know, while you're fishing. 
Got him. That one hit it on the drop. Oh man, another baby striper. Two for two on diaper stripers today. Might be a school of baby stripers, honestly. There we go, fresh crab. Now, it's weird when you're getting multiple, you know, variety hits. Like that one was definitely a striper hit, more of a thump. The tog, you could tell because they just grabbed the crab and they just try and inhale it. The sheep's head's like the most subtle hit you could ever imagine for something that's as, you know, strong and powerful and, you know, makes runs like you couldn't believe. Damn, I don't know what this is, but it's definitely bigger. Try and get it away from the bridge. Might be a bigger striper. Nah, bigger tog. Damn, son. Oh, man. Not a giant, but definitely a bigger tog. Look at that freaking beauty. Getting a hit. Oh, got him. Smaller fish, whatever it is. Oh, man. I went to deeper water just to catch the same thing, man. Baby tog. Well, all you can do is try, right? Whoa, whoa, man. Something just grabbed this. Holy moly. Literally something just grabbed this as I was reeling it in. Whatever it is, is big. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy freaking crap. Oh, man. I, my guess, striper or sheep's head? My guess, first guess is striper. Just because I've never caught a sheep like this. I'm literally reeling in. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't run me into the... Shit, he's running me right into the structure. I can feel it rubbing. I can literally feel it rubbing. Ah, oh, man, he got me. He's got me in the structure. I can feel my line rubbing. Ah. Oh. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, no. I'm stuck in the structure. Are you kidding me? Come on. Come on. Come on, get out of there. Ah, uh, striper, nice striper. Damn, look at that hoss. All right, man, let's get this hoss back in the water. Oh man, he he was happy to go back, man. He did not want to play. Damn, I literally was reeling this in to move and freaking that thing just slammed it on the way up. 